we initially sat down um, for lunch and we didn't have any idea where we were going with the first one, but we both knew that it had to be something over the top. It had to be really intense. It had to be um, something strong, assertive, powerful. Because how long have you not been doing? Seven years. Se- okay. I thought I heard that. And then I'm like, have you been in the industry that long? But Ten. I guess. I guess we all have been. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It'll be 20 years for me in September. Hey. I know, right? Um, So we sat down and we were talking about, you know, the stigma of returning Mm -hmm. back to the industry and how lots of people assume that, you know, it's because you need the money or, um, you know, you couldn't make it elsewhere Mm -hmm. or, and that none of that was the case for me, obviously. I'm, I'm, I've done really well for myself as far as prepping for my future and you know, I've I've got a home and a family. And, yeah. Um I, I felt like it was just it was time, you know. Um and so we wanted to get that message across right. in the scene. And right. so we were just chatting and and I was talking about my favorite types of um visual shots. You know, things that I like to see. And I was talking about different lighting. And then I was like, and you know, sometimes I feel like nostalgia plays a big part. Like that Sharon Stone scene. And you just saw everything in his face light up. He said, I've been waiting for so long to have a girl that could play that role. And he said, you know, the problem is, is a lot of these girls, they don't have that assertiveness. Yeah. They can't carry the role. It's a big role. Yeah. Energetically, obviously. Dialogue is easy to do, but right. energetically, it's not easy. Mm-hmm. And so he came up with the idea to kind of use the original script and combine it with real life, mm-hmm. what's really going on. And I right. thought that was so fascinating. I'm like, it's like a remix. Yeah. And he liked the fact that I was brunette instead of blonde. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, the way that it actually came about, it was it was a lot of work too. He put a lot of work into both that I felt like, a comeback needs to be triumphant. It needs mm-hmm. to be like a da 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 da. Yeah. Not like a, you know, we've seen this before kind yes. of a thing. Um, but it was really exciting. And, and uh, you know, I had a great time and I like to flex my, my acting skills. Mm-hmm. Um, How long know. was that shoot day? Well, um, the actual uh, sex part of the day was. Um, Probably about an eight hour day. Okay. Um, and we did a little bit of like the drive, the driving part we did that day. And there was, um, a little bit of the rest of the intro that we did, but the mm-hmm. actual dialogue was like a 12 hour day. And that was the, the shot of you in the chair being questioned. And then the, yes. the classic Sharon Stone uncross legs, mm-hmm. cross the leg shot. Just that shot alone took a long time. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, because the way he wanted the camera to move and the way he wanted me to move and how much, of everything you saw, because mm-hmm. you know it was it was debated. Should we actually be able to see um, down below? I don't know what I can say. Or you not can say anything. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know. I, we didn't know how much pussy we wanted to see or mm-hmm. not see. Um, you know, so we were we shot it a bunch of different ways. Right. Um, slow, fast, high kick, small kick. Oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> but you know, there there were lots of different pieces, and right. then. Getting the guys' energy right because you've you've got four guys in the background um, who are being the um, detectives interrogating me mm-hmm. to get their energy just right. Um, you know they have to match. They have to match up with my energy because right. they have to pull that ag- aggressive, assertive side out of me. Otherwise, mm-hmm. it it looked like unbalanced in the scene. Right. Like why is she being so assertive if they're not being assertive? Right. So. It it took a minute to get all of us on the same energy balance, Level, right? Yeah, right, right. but I mean the dolly shots and the the I mean he had um the track mm-hmm. he had what what what's the one where you ride on the track that you are actually there's a seat for it. What is, I think it's a dolly. It's just another dolly. Yeah, I think so. Because I know there's a track that you just walk with it, but the, he was they were on a seat. It was yeah. a huge thing. Yeah, and it took a long time, but it looks. Amazing, yeah. The lighting on that set was just phenomenal, and it's crazy because how long was the final product? Like when it was edited and out, it was what like a minute, a minute or and a half, like I think. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I just I love that you talk about this, and I <laughs> I would like some people that I work for to listen to this because I often get. We were talking about this before we started. 
I'll have clients come to me and they'll be like, we want to get this. Mm-hmm. And like I was telling you, for example, this one movie that I shot, they literally sent me clips from Stanley Kubrick films. And they're like, can you do this? And right. I was instantly like, that is a dolly shot. That is a tracking shot. Like, are you going to let me rent all of this stuff? Are you going to hire a proper DP, like a proper cameraman? Like, this is way beyond like oh, yeah. regular porn shit. And they just don't understand that and you know it was like a 30 second shot I'm like I can tell you that that took them probably all fucking day yes to get that one shot so you're talking about a one minute I think segment we, that took you 12 hours to shoot and I, that is normal like when normal. you're shooting like a truly cinematic piece if you're shooting like a mainstream movie like they take you know, a year for a reason yes yeah. and like each shot like a minute shot will take you a 12 hour day, if not multiple days. And you yeah. were talking, I think, earlier too about how he took like three days to even like set it up to build the set and everything. So, yeah. like, I, I like people to talk about this because I want people to understand like how much work goes into like a truly cinematic piece. Well, and I just feel like I am constantly being given insanely, people just have un, totally unrealistic expectations. Well, that's why I think that it's, it's really rare that you actually get, you know, um, these, you know, elaborate pieces is because of the expense and the amount of time that it takes. And a lot of people don't want to put, don't want to put the money into it. Exactly. Um, Because porn is like, it's very hard for porn to be profitable these days. Right. And And it's very disposable and it's very much all the same. And we're just churning out a bunch of content, but that's obviously not the case. Well, that's, that's why we spend so much time on the uh, PG shots. Yeah. Because of the fact that you can really market Yes. Your company, your brand, uh, you know, the talent, you can market people on a larger level if you can post that all over your Instagram and things like helicopter shoots and basic instinct. Yeah. Those things are people are things that people are going to pay attention to. And like, that you oh, can hey. put on safer work platforms. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.